Hey everybody, my name is Keisha Doja, AKA Pretty Black the Promoter. I am a promoter out of Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> Yeah, so my birthday is finally here. I'm getting ready to throw a big birthday bash and I'm bringing down one of my friends, Triple D, that I met back in New York when t Moja had a big event down there and brought people from all over. So we end up keeping in touch and becoming good friends. And so he coming down for my birthday bash, coming from California. So I'm super excited about it. <laughs> What's up, good people? It's your boy Dev the Don, aka Triple D. Your boy from the Bay Area, man. Pittsburgh, California, to Oakland, California, you know. Whole 45 miles, ride with it. Man, I received a phone call one day, man, with Keisha Dozier and I. Opportunity to go out there to Little Rock and perform. And I said, okay, you know what I'm saying? It's a perfect opportunity to get to meet back up with my bro, man, after all these years, man, and uh, really put in some work, and uh, Tell y'all, man, I'm excited for this little trip, and uh, it's about to go down, like real talk. It's the best opportunity I had in years, and I've been doing this music shit for decades. But now, you know what I'm saying, the door is open, it's time for me to touch down this motherfucker, man, and uh, make something happen. So, uh, here I come, little rock. So I decided to do something different this year for my birthday. Um, I have a big pretty black bash and so I decided to pick up all my friends in the limo and bring a special guest which is Triple D. So we all got together and went and picked them up in the limo, just catered to them. Oh yeah, most definitely. It was a celebrity party. You know what I'm talking about? It went down, you know what I'm saying? We had so much fun, you know what I'm talking about? And I made sure, you know, pretty, pretty black, that's my sister. So, you know, I've been rocking with her forever. Yes, at the beginning of my birthday, ATM Mac Month called me like, sis, what you drinking on? Everything on me. I got you the whole night. Don't worry about nothing. I got you back. Man, I must have connected with uh, Mac Month, and it was on. We done got in the limo. Then went and picked up my boy Triple D from the room. Way no t Moja. And, of course, he was late. We kissing and picked me up in the limo, man. I'm expecting my nigga T-Mo to be with us or whatever, but uh, she like, nah, we got to pick T-Mo up. So we ride, we hit the freeway. You know, I don't know nothing about Lil Rock. I'm just riding, trying to check out the scenery. Can't check out nothing because it's dark in the motherfucker, so I don't know what's going on. We pull up to the gas station. I see my nigga, you know, it's big old cheese. I see bro, you know what I'm saying, happy to see him. I stack back the limo, man. See my nigga, it was all love, man. Hey, they showing the gloves, the cameraman right here. I'm on live too. Getting live too. So yeah, live man, too. Lil Rock, boy in the house, man. California love. For sure. With it. Pick the nigga up in the limo. We got it. Pretty black nigga in here. What's up, baby? I'm back in there. Let me get all up in this thing. Let me get in this thing with these players. Let me get in this thing with these players. Excuse me, Chuck. Oh. We got the superstars up in here. What's going on over here, man? You with the queen of the rock. Y'all better stop playing with us. They better stop playing with us. Y'all better stop playing with us. See how pretty black be going way out, man. We got my boy Matt Lino over here. Y'all know it, man. Y'all know what the fuck it is. ATM in the building, man. They stay collab, man. That's what the fuck it is. ATM circle in the building. Yeah. What's up, player? When you come here. And I tell you this, man, hey, the love I received in the building. was the greatest love in the world. I got picked up, Keisha Dog, once again, the club promoter, putting on the show, who invited me to Little Rock. Yeah, man, we turned up, man. It was, a, it was a nice night, man, you know what I'm saying? But uh, early I had called PBN, you know what I'm saying? And we was connected all day long. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shit, we pulled up at the club and met each other. And shit, goddamn me, you know, I broke out the drink, you know what I'm saying, goddamn me. We did it real big, you feel me, on everything, man. I mean, we had a great time, man. That was one of the best best times I done had in a while, you feel me. And we had a good time, man. And, you know, I gave her that call, you know what I'm saying, told, hey, we this, we that. This is what it is, you feel me. And that's what it was, you know what I'm talking about. My motto is 
Arkansas needs to go hard. So that's why I support and that's why I promote my people because I believe in Arkansas artists and um, I think we ain't up next. We up now. Now we done, we done picked up T-Mosia, we ride down Asher almost to the club. As soon as we get there, we can't even park. Cars everywhere coming from all angles. Man, ready for the pretty black badge. Um, I'm super excited. I can't believe there's so many people that came out to support my um, birthday. So as we pulling up, we got to ask people to move, get off the red carpet, because you know, the real stars have arrived. Hold on, wait for your crew. Triple D. What's up, baby? Nephew. Hey, thank you. Mac Easy. What it do? Oh, my guys, what's up, baby? Triple D. What's up, what? What's up, baby? How we doing, man? We made it. Carry the little rock, man. It's going down. Get out here. <laughs> Y'all didn't think I could do it? Yeah, yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Me and this motherfucker up. Fuck up, man. Y'all know what it is, man. 18 in the building, man. I got my nigga out waiting for Kelly. My motherfucker's the first man. Y'all already know what it is. This motherfucker's party tonight, and it's a bitch. Y'all already know what it is. 18. See, you got to get the limo, y'all, but he too clean. Too clean. Oh, yeah. Hey, me and my boy, we go way back. Yeah, Rob, me. Stop playing in the Clorox, boy. Stop playing. Stop playing. <laughs> All right, let's get in the field. Let's start the motherfucking party. Come on. Birthday girl is back. Chilling. Getting loud, we ride. Man, we pull up to a block called, I think it's uh, Asher. And I'm seeing, I'm like, man, you know, it's kind of thick out here. So it's looking to me, you know, a little rock poppy kind of like a little bit. We riding. Then, man, we pull up to Club 428. I'm like, okay, it's thick. I'm seeing cars, people outside. I'm like, okay, it's going to be a good night. Man, we pull up. We step out the red carpet and around everybody, and it seemed like all eyes was captivated on me, man. Hey, I felt at home, a home away from home, and they were showing me love. Stepped into the club, the same thing, man. The love from the Bay Area, being an announcer from the Bay Area, nigga, in Little Rock, performing. Can't get no better than that. And I'm around my people. Yeah. Hey, I got one for y'all, though. My bro and the people that I met dealing with my bro, Keisha, Magma, all the others. If I don't say your name, don't get mad, man. Nigga high, but that's what it is, man. <laughs> I got that. 
<laughs> Don't put that part in there, bro. <laughs> Man, when I walked in the club, people was everywhere. It was so beautiful. I got to give a shout out to my girl, Vale. She came through at, a, in, at, a, uh, at the spare of the moment and set up everything so beautiful. I'm talking about I was super excited the way it looked when I walked in. And all my friends and my fans and my family was all around just greeting us. I'm telling y'all, what a birthday bash. The Pretty Black Bash 2021 was off the chain. Um, salute to everybody. Man, the DJ Dumbino, he rock with me every Friday night. He be on point. So y'all got to get a shout out to DJ Dundito. And, and not to forget Bryce, because they ran the whole show. Every artist that performed at my uh, at the Pretty Black Bash was off the chain. They went so hard. And I got to give an extra shout out to my security. Madam T, First Lady, she was on point. Do you hear me? She was responsible for keeping everybody safe. And she did just that. It was a beautiful night. You hear me? One more shout out to Mac Munt because he told me when he made that phone call that he got me. And he had me the whole night when I tell you I didn't have to worry about nothing. Everything was on point. He was on point with everything. So I just want to give thanks to everybody that made my birthday special and made it great. I'm super excited about it. You know what I'm saying? And then it was so many artists there, man. Everybody did their thing, man. I salute everybody that was there, man. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, we kicked it so hard. And my kids, boy, they kicked ass. <laughs> Little Trey, ass. You know, every, every artist was on point. You know what I'm saying? You see me on the stage with everybody rocking it in. You hear me? That's how you show love, man. You know what I'm saying? I mess with everybody, all the artists, man. I'm talking about we snapping it up on the red carpet. My nigga T Moji came out with that camera, man. You know, it's right on point. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. That's how we do it. You know what I'm talking about? I salute the pretty black man for her motherfucking birthday. And then, you know, it ain't even got to be her birthday. She turn up any goddamn way. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? We have it. Man, the love was ridiculous. When I say the love was ridiculous, get in, man. VIP status. Man. I'm straight to the VIP, though. Don't, don't worry about nothing. Bottles and everything. I don't really drink, but it's a special occasion. Nigga from performing with my people's man, you know, took a little sip. Plus, you know, it's Keisha Dozer, Keisha Dozer birthday party. So you know, we we, you know, it's for her. We put it on. She made everything happen. So of course, you know, we all having fun, man. Sit back and and just feeling the vibe in the house. It was all love, man. Make me really fit. Think about moving a little while and the love that they showed and feel like I'm a part of this and I need to be a part of it. Stay a part of it. You know why? Because they love me and I love it. She's a bad bitch, you know she bad to the bone I'm about to get up on them haters, I don't get down Seen a nigga stretch, ask for the number to my phone like Marvin said Let's get it on, now I'm turning off the lights But I never turn down, now I'm turning the fuck up I'm the beat, the cuss, now I'm on I hit it three times, repeating my name Dougie Dub Dub, now we at it again Catch a crack on my toes, fillet your life Well, I ran game so sick, got me see me can't touch this Like this, get wild, she dick like this quick I whip it like Stan Griggs, make it creamy all oh, shit Cause if she's shaking like the village, she bust the multiples I love it how she make it with your ass, she can take the phone yeah. What a bad bitch, she's down to rock, top form of her She's a bad bitch, by the way, I'm down to rock Y'all know how the fuck it is She's a bad bitch I 
I be around a lot of young cats, man. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of young artists that's trying to do your thing. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to give you a little information. Put down them guns, man. All this killing got to stop. You know what I'm saying? When fucking with PBN, no beef zone. That's what it is, man. We at the club with the love. You're going to show everybody love. If you done been to 428 and perform, we know who you is. If we ain't been to 428, we don't know you. So we get a lot of artists that's coming in and out. You know what I'm saying? I just want to tell y'all, put them guns down. Ain't no gun shit around us, you hear me? And, and we all about love, you feel me? And that's what it is. You know what I'm talking about? And that's what I want to tell y'all. What it do? It's your boy Trader Don. It's your boy HBG Montana, man. AKA 18 million good man. Yep, 18 million TBG motherfucker. But man, we went to that party. That it was, was dirt, bro. It was, was all lit. outside, bro. Big old crowd, bro. Everybody, bro, there. like the whole front of the door was packed out. Like, then when when a put limo pull up, ain't seen them hop out, boy, looking clean, boy. You can tell it was different people from different states. Different coming. states, it's like, like people we ain't never seen before at the folk. Yeah, real like, talk, that more was lit. It was we lit, man. We up, turned man. the club up. It was turned down until we hey. got on the stage. Real we fun. turned that motherfucker up. I know we spit that business when we spit that business now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, we was ready hey. for every anything that was going down. Uh, hey. It wasn't no drama. We ain't had to no. worry about no drama though. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Was, everybody was celebrating. All have fun. We all act like family in there. People that hate on us, we shook their hands. We all love them. Yeah. All love them. Hey, it's good to love too. Yeah, so I'm super excited to be able to give back to the community and be able to help the youth and be able to just keep people's minds focused on positive stuff. So I'm with the positive, all positive vibes, a positive movement, PBN, which stands for Pretty Black Nation. It's an entertainment network for all independent artists out of Little Rock, Arkansas. So, and, and surrounding areas, because not only do I just fool with Little Rock, like, I got support from people from all across um, Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, Memphis. Um, I just brought Chuck in. I call him Triple D, but everybody else call him Chuck. I just brought him in from Cali for my big birthday bash. So when I tell you the love is real, and so if there's any youth out there that's looking for something to do, make sure y'all get at me. I'm Pretty Black, the promoter, and I can help you in any way that I can because we support our youth and we support our community. And you can't reach out for her, you know what I'm saying? Reach out for your boy, man. You already know, man. We teamed up years ago. We, we, we basically started this shit around the same time together. You know what I'm saying? Pretty well, Black. I remember. Well, we, yeah. I, 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 I remember, goddamn, when we... We we used to get the club. It was ten motherfuckers come. Mm -hmm. and we still perform. Yeah. Hey, like, had a good time doing me? it. And now you know everybody just just show love, man. It's pretty black. You know what I'm saying? I got a whole lot of followers and 
folks who you know what I'm to saying. To the both of us. Reach out to us, man. We can pack something out now, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, and, you know, yeah. we, we come together to help a whole lot of young folks, yeah. man. That's what it's all about. And put them in the position where they can win, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, one thing we got to tell them for sure is just put them guns down, man, because, you know, we losing too many uh, young ones over in, in, in Little Rock, man. You know what I'm saying? If we can get, get them more focused on their music and, you know, if you go to school, go to school, you feel me? Because, you know, all that you need it, you know what I'm saying? And you know, as as you know, we gotta we gotta do more stuff like, uh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, we need more together, activists more, to yeah. be involved, uh -huh. community activists to yeah. be involved, to try to do more things, to be able to help the youth out in um in our communities. Because I think if they see that we're willing to help, they'll be willing to learn. If we're willing to teach, they'll be willing to you know learn. <laughs> Living in a ghetto I be waking up early Trying to sell it good to the Berties Living in a ghetto 